Dr. Martin Luther King and Governor Winthrop Rockefeller both helped move the needle of our humanity and of our public policies to a higher level in this state and in this nation. We shall overcome someday. Thank you for joining us today for the Martin Luther King Jr. Commission Show. Today we have an exciting event where we're going to be exploring the 44th anniversary of the assassination of Dr. King. Today we're commemorating a vigil right here on the steps of the state capitol. Tune in and join us. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. Every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. I have a dream today. Coming home can be hard if you're a veteran of Iraq or Afghanistan. You may feel like you're all alone, but you're not alone. At IAVA.org, your fellow vets are all around you. Join our free online community, get the resources you need, and connect to other vets who know where you're coming from. IAVA.org, we've got your back. Seven thousand high school students drop out every school day. That's a line of desks more than four miles long. We can keep students in school. Visit boostup.org and take the first step. Can I give you a hand? No thanks, Dad. I got it. Okay. I'm gonna go fix the lamp in your room. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. These things we count on every day started as ideas. Ideas from the minds of African Americans. Support minority education today so we don't miss out on the next big idea tomorrow. The United Negro College Fund. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. was assassinated. As a matter of fact, I was in Little Rock that night and I heard it on the radio and was devastated. And that has resonated with me all of my life since then and I think it's an important thing to continue to remember. So I'm here to make sure that we don't forget. Today is April 4th, 2012. And today marks the 44th anniversary of the assassination of Dr. King. The Martin Luther King Jr. Commission will put on its fourth vigil right here in Little Rock, Arkansas at the state capitol. And we are so excited to have you here. You know, one important component that we did was a little bit of a twist. We decided to co-sponsor with the Winthrop Rockefeller Centennial Coalition in recognition of a very great man, the 37th governor of the state of Arkansas, Winthrop Rockefeller. So we came to bring to fruition a great program where we were have an exciting day to not only recognize Dr. King for his legacy, but also Winthrop Rockefeller. Now, many individuals don't realize that Governor Winthrop Rockefeller was the only known Southern governor to commemorate a vigil in the honor of Dr. King after his assassination. When 1968, when Dr. King was assassinated, uh, he was, if not, I think he may have been the only governor in the nation that gathered people on the Capitol steps and tried to bring people together in a, in a useful, peaceful way. He always, and Dr. King always, appealed to the best in people. 
And that's what a political leader should do, and I'm very proud to participate today for that reason. Both Dr. King and my grandfather, and my, well, my father as well, but my grandfather and Dr. King uh, both fought for a government that worked for everyone equally, that worked, that was inclusive, that was of, by, and for the people, not just for a certain group or a certain few individuals, but for everyone equally. Both of them had concern about people and the welfare of people without regard to race, creed, or color. He was a man whose life was taken too early, and he's a man that changed this nation. And I think that his, the tenor of his uh, peace, strength through peace, I think is one of the things that we miss in America today. And I'm really honored to be here to commemorate uh, his passing and also the leadership of our governor, who I'm told was the only Southern governor to hold a memorial for Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, when his life was taken. And I hope that America can reflect on the past and look to our future and know that it's through unity and through strength together, no matter what your race, no matter what your color, that makes America great. So I'm very honored to be here to commemorate this day today. April 3rd, 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his prophetic, I've been to the mountaintop speech. And he said, and, and I quote, like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place, but I'm not concerned about that now. I've looked over and I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know that we as a people will get to the promised land. On April 4, 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee. In his stirring speech, Dr. King looked back on his life and was thankful for all the positive changes in civil rights that occurred during his lifetime. We pause today to celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., a drum major for justice, champion for peace, one of the greatest leaders of the 20th century and all time. His life modeled nonviolence, community service, and justice for all. His passing rocked the nation and created a void in the civil rights movement. His legacy lives on and continues to influence generations. The Arkansas Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Commission is pleased today to present the fourth annual commemorative vigil in his honor. Let's give a warm round of applause for the executive director of the Arkansas Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Commission, Mr. Deshaun Scarborough. Thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause for being here. No, 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 no. We need to energize this crowd up a little bit more. Let's energize this crowd. Cloverdale Junior High School. Make some noise! McClellan, are you here today? <laughs> Rockefeller Elementary! Martin Luther King Elementary! What about Jacksonville High? Everybody in here, let's make some noise! Happy, 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 happy Youth Community Service Day! You are our future. So I need you to help me say this. When I say you are, say our future. You are. Our future. You are. Our future. You are. Our future. The Arkansas Martin Luther King Jr. Commission did not come here today to inspire you. We came here today to be inspired by you. 
on this 44th anniversary of the assassination of Dr. King, I stand before you today proud. I am proud as a state leader that you, youth of the state of Arkansas, would participate in such a monumental program. So give yourselves a round of applause. Now, I have to admit, I am a former student of Cloverdale, McClellan, and Philander Smith. So anytime, anytime I hold some type of presentation, they are always with me, and I really appreciate your support. But McClellan, could you please stand up, my? Thank you so much. We have something to give to the audience. On the count of three, we appreciate you for coming out to the 44th anniversary of the commemorative vigil for Dr. King. On the count of three, let's give it to him, McClellan. One, two, three. Thank you. Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Bring out the action hero in you. Fuel up right and get energized. Be part of the greatest action movie ever. The first movie that puts you in the action. Show us how you train and eat like an action hero. Join in at actionheroalliance.com. My life is full of statistics. Thing is, I could have dropped out of school and become one myself. But I didn't, because I had people that believed in me. Here's another statistic. 7,000 students drop out every school day. That's one every 26 seconds. It's time that students know that we believe in them. Inspire a student and share your message of support at BoostUp.org. I present to you Algebra 2. And finally, biology. Who among you will step up to their challenge? Me. Yeah, do it. Me too. Sign me up. Take on the tough classes now. You need them to prepare for college. It's my privilege to welcome all of you, and especially our honored guests, on behalf of the Arkansas Martin Luther King Jr. Commission. It's proper that we remember that tragedy of 44 years ago where a great American hero was gunned down. It's also proper that on this year of the 100th anniversary of the birth of an Arkansas hero, that we remember the accomplishments of the late Winthrop Rockefeller. His vision changed Arkansas for the better forever. His historic decision to memorialize the assassination in this most public way on these very steps stood out as a courageous and the single most appropriate step in the nation. The King Commission was pleased when the Rock of Winthrop Rockefeller Institute asked to be a part of this event in commemorating both Dr. King and Governor Rockefeller. I think Dr. King challenged us to be great. And he said in order to be great, we have to serve. And if we serve, we can truly make a difference. And when we make a difference, we know that the homeless can be housed, the hungry can be fed, the jobless can become employed, and our communities will get ready for our soldiers to come home from Al Afghanistan and other places 
and be at world peace, I would think that both Wynne and Dr. King would want us to keep moving forward, keep getting better, keep taking on greater challenges, keep meeting the needs of the needy, keep preparing our young for a challenging future, keep leading the way for helping communities to be better, help our country to achieve historic feats that we never thought we'd see, and continue to help communities respond to tough challenges with an uh, enthusiastic response that we heard a few years ago, and it was something called, yes, we can, yes, we will, and we are somebody. Remember, if we do it right, if we make the sacrifice, if we do it in the lifestyle of Dr. Keem and Wynn Rockefeller, there is no hill we cannot climb, there's no problem we cannot solve. There's no hurdle we cannot get over, no load we cannot carry, no enemy we cannot conquer, no job we cannot do, no illness we cannot cure, no office we cannot hold, no hungry child we cannot feed. We must strive to always be able to answer, yes, we can, because when and Dr. King live, and they are their dreams and their inspiration is alive and well with us today. I was working in Washington, D.C. and stood on the east balcony of the United States Capitol. And of course, I knew who Dr. King was, and I had seen his speeches on television. But on this particular day, I looked down the Capitol Mall to the Lincoln Monument and listened to Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr deliver his speech, his dream of our country, of our state, of our people. What a contrast that message was to the message that had been preached five years earlier when our schools were shut. Because you see, Martin Luther King was appealing to the best of us, asking us to reach inside, overcome the bad parts and look for the very best within us. Five years later, in April of 1968, immediately after Dr. King's assassination, I watched on television. I was here in Arkansas, but I was up finishing law school. I watched on television as Governor Rockefeller, bravely, because it was not safe that day, bravely spoke of the importance of Dr. King's message to the people of our state and our nation. With him was the people who've been mentioned here, his wife, Jeanette, our First Lady, Senator Walker, the others who've been mentioned, ministers and others, on these steps right here where we meet today, an important day for our state and our nation. These people held hands, black and white, young and old, politicians and ministers, and they said we would overcome, and my friends, what we can remember, we can...